Hello everyone, back with another video. Um, I am doing two ADCs in this video and I left a lot in, so you can see my process too. Um, I have a little box, as you saw, with all kinds of little pictures, uh, uh, pieces out of magazines, everything that I thought, oh, it's nice, I can use it, and it's it's been there for ages. So uh, this is just a little box that I keep on my desk whenever I need it. I can use all these tiny pieces. Uh, you see that I'm creating a background for this ATC. The um, prompt this uh, day was um, collage, and I thought. I was going well, it looks nice, looked pretty, but it went well a little bit wrong. I'm not that happy with um, the end result, but hey, that's how it goes. So that's why I'm showing you just just everything. Now I've got all these pieces lying around and I'm fussy cutting them and I'm placing them. I do like the way it uh, looks now, but then I went wrong with the elephant. I wanted to use the elephant. But um, well, you'll see what's going wrong. I couldn't place it on that um, button. Then I was, was trying to uh, um, replace the button um, to make it uh, work. But I discarded the elephant and went on to the frog. I cut out the frog. I didn't want to do the fingers and the toes. So uh, I cut around it. I thought, oh, hey, it's collage, so it doesn't really matter, does it? So then I was trying uh, the um, the frog didn't like the frog so going to <laughs> the mouse that's how I normally work I do a lot of things but end up not using most of it and then I thought okay need some color and now I go layer over layer over layer and in the end I didn't like it at all so you well I do uh, too much sometimes and then I thought, okay, I like the gray and the black. So another piece of gray paper, and you can see it's getting out of hand. I'm drying it because it was way too wet by using the gel medium and got all wet. So drying it quite well, and then cut it to size, and then overthink what I was doing. And the prompt is collage, so that's what I'm doing, isn't it? <laughs> Now I thought I need to tone it down because if I want to get a center uh, or focus point on my ADC I need a bit a quiet background. So I had this uh, stencil laying around, didn't want to get another one. So okay, it didn't get better, got worse. So then I saw that little piece of paper that you see on the right side, left side. It says, uh, I used to be boring, now I have a mustache. So I thought, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna use that phrase. And I got these candies. And I thought, I'm going to use those as well. You see, struggling on the placement. One, two, horizontal. Uh, it's very difficult. Then I thought, I need a bit more color on the background. And in the end, you can't see much of the background anymore. So going with distressed crayons. Don't know what to think about those. Do like them, but if they are um, done, I'm not going to buy them again. Gelados works well. Neo colors works well. Just uh, not that much different to what I already have. Um, well, colored the background and then went in with that piece of candy and then there is the elephant again I thought I'm gonna make it into a circus kind of idea so placing the elephant on my piece of candy and then I thought it's fading away into the background so I need to give him a little bit of black to stand on and then I forgot to cut out that middle section so I did that and I thought, oh, didn't like the hat. <laughs> and here it goes. I th saw that parrot there. I thought I'm going to use the parrot's hat, head to go on to the body of the elephant. Why not? It's just a silly A to C and everything goes. So uh, I thought I was just going to do that. Why not? 
does look pretty, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, and then thinking about what to do next. So I saw this little man cutting that one out as well. But I wanted him to point at the elephant. Didn't work out that well. Now, Fussy cut it, the old man, and left, right, didn't like it at all. So, changing my mind again. Um, and then I decided, I really didn't know what to do. So, I decided on using the phrase, or the sentiments. Um, and th that's what I normally do. Uh, normally, I would discard this one into the bin. Just throw it into the bin and not think about it anymore because I really didn't like it. But um, it was collage and I thought I'm just going to do uh, uh, some funny ATCs. Why not? Don't, mm, well, don't be bothered with it. So that's what you see what I'm doing here. Uh, I just glue the words down. And then I decide to uh, back it on a piece of black cardstock. And then that's just it. That was just enough. And I'm just going to put it aside and work on another one. And then in the meantime, I can think about what to do with this one. So that's that's really what I was doing. That's why the black man is there, because I really wanted him on the card. So <laughs> I cut him in half and I just put him there. Why not? Just because I can. So starting a new one, as you can see. Again, getting my little box out, and this prompt said uh, wallpaper. Uh, I didn't have any wallpaper in my stash, so I decided to create my own, and I got this very nice pattern in green and blue out of a magazine, and I thought I was just going to use that one. I stamped the little mouse from the um, Viva Las Vegas set, and uh, I thought about this while I was... Uh, uh, outside on a festival festival with music and theater and it just came to me so I thought okay just write it down quickly I had a piece of paper in my pocket and I wrote it down and when I got home I just made this sometimes it just pops in my head and then it's done so um, I think it goes right well um, just cut the pieces into strips and created uh, a wall on my piece of paper and then just gluing them down. Easy, easy, easy. Now cutting them into size and just covering the back with um, my piece of paper. And then I have created a wall and a floor and floorboard or how you call it, I don't know really. But hey, it uh, looks great, as I might say, I might say so myself. Um, now I decided on what to put on the floor. I just had this little piece of paper lying around. That's why I glued it down. No specific reason. It was just there for grabs. So that's it mainly. And uh, while I did that, I just put a little um, gesso uh, on that a piece of paper just to tone it down a little bit. I cut this little mouse out of that piece of paper and of course uh, I marked, or how you call it, I blacked the white edges as you can see as I do with the piece of cheese and first I wanted to leave it white but I thought oh well it's way too easy isn't it because it's almost ready so um, I just put a little um, shadow underneath uh, the mouse and the cheese and then I thought about coloring it and I go in with my polychromos pencils you have seen me work with that one before and I really love those pencils don't know why but it's easy to color with and it creates a very nice um, blend if you use that blending pencil as you can see here and just a little light blue a little sea blue greenish on the petrol color on the nose and on the uh, belly and a little pink on his cheeks and because there's just a little yellow in the background in the wallpaper I colored the cheese bright yellow 
and it stands out quite nice. Now, of course, doing the black edge thing, as I do always, <laughs> and uh, stamping uh, the sentiment myself. And I think I did, how do I get in? Because you can see I didn't have a, um, um, a little um, hole for him to live in. So I'll go through and then I decided to draw a little uh, hole in the end. Is that how you call it? A hole? Yeah, I think so. And just a little bit too small so he can't get in. I don't know how he got out either, but uh, hey, <laughs> that really doesn't matter. And I thought, oh, how do I get in? I thought it was funny. Now, just stamping. I love those little letter stamps. I think they're quite old, a few years now, and I might have bought them in England while I was with Fiona. And um, I really love them. You can see they are heavily used. <laughs> so really liking them. Now I'm almost done with those. Um, really, um, it was a way too simple. Uh, but uh, sometimes you need to uh, do something simple to stay creative. I didn't have any inspiration or not much inspiration. And I do have to do 61 in total. So we're halfway. I think this was about 30. So need to do a lot. In the end, I'm going to show them all. Just do... Um, a video on uh, uh, how do you call it a show and tell all that is just a 61 80 C's I'm gonna I'm gonna finish I'm sure of it now getting the other one out um, then I decided I need to do a lot to the other one as well so just emphasizing the words by uh, putting an edge around them and just coloring a little bit more on the mouse just a little fine details and uh, the only thing I did to the other one was my black um, edge, my black line, and of course going around the words. It didn't was not easy because it was still a bit wet, so I had to make sure my marker didn't got ruined by it. But it does look better when you just make them stand out. I just use a pencil in the end to create. It's just a fun one, isn't it? Now, just a black edge, I think that I'm going to do that, yeah, now. And emphasize the words just a little bit more. They faded into the background. I didn't like that. And then I'm almost done. So i like uh, to thank you again for watching. And I say bye-bye. Bye-bye.